Park and welcome. We are going to the Romans and uh, today we're going to Romans chapter 1 verse 2 until verse 6. We begin with the verse 2. And I think it would be preferable if you have your Bible. I might uh, put the text in the video by a note for a certain. So, second, which he promised before through the prophets in the Holy Scriptures concerning his Son Jesus Christ, our Lord. So, I have my notes here, of course. Uh, there was and is written multiple prophecies about Jesus, and he fulfilled them all. And some examples are Isaiah 7, uh, verses 14. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. God with us. The second one is from Micah chapter 5 verses 2 until 5. But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, I don't know if I pronounced that right. Though you are little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of you shall come forth to me the one to be ruled in Israel. Whose going forth are from an old, from everlasting. Therefore, he shall give them up until the time that she who is in labor has given birth. Then the remnant of his brethren shall return to the children of Israel, and he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord and in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they shall abide, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he, he and this one shall be peace, is our peace. And actually, the cross is mentioned even in Genesis 1, chapter, yeah, chapter 1, verse 1. Um, it's not written out in your English Bible, but there in Hebrew it's a little little word called Aleph Tau. It's two letters. It's like the beginning and the end. And the letter, letter Tau here was originally a cross in the scripture. So the cross is noted even in the first verse of the Bible. So, Jesus was predicted to come from the first verse in the Bible. So, we shall return to Romans, and now we go to verse 3. Concerning his son Jesus Christ, our Lord, who was born of the seed of David according to the flesh. To show that Jesus uh, was related to David, we can read from Matthew chapter 1, and there you have his whole bloodline, all of the bloodline, how he was related, and this was yet another prophecy he had to fulfill. I don't actually remember how many prophecies there are in the Bible, I have heard some numbers. From a hundred up to thousand, I don't know, <laughs> but I know there are many, and I I find myself like when I read the Old Testament, like oh, this is yet another prophecy about Jesus. Can we have another one and another one? And if you, if you look for it, find find more and more and more. So it's really interesting to read the Bible because you can find you really can find the depth of it. And explore new things if you think about it. 
So now we go over to verse 4. And declare to be the Son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead. So by the resurrection from the dead, the death could not hold him because he was, is, and always will be righteous. He's God. He's, was, and is, and will always be God. So we have to declare that. He's holy and he's righteous. We go over to verse 5 and 6. I would say it's mainly two parts here. Um, but we read it first. Through him we have received grace and apostleship for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name, among whom you also are called of Jesus Christ. So, the two parts, it's, well, first of all, when Paul said, we, as you heard me read, uh, we have received grace and apostleship. It, he doesn't talk about himself as he has received apostleship, but we actually mean we, even in the Greek, like you and I have received it. And I think he's emphasized of it. That's it in verse 6. When he say, Among whom you also are called of Jesus Christ, I also think it he means that he has given them the gospel also. There's two parts. Uh, and uh, the second part is. Uh, for obedience to the faith. So obedience to the faith, like how do you give people that? So do you become obedient to the faith? Like how does that look like? Uh, and I would say that it's by sharing the gospel about how God sacrificed himself to pay the debt we have to him. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so we could have a uh, uh, get back the eternal life and have a relationship with him. So all we have to do is trust Jesus that he took the death from us and follow him. But when it comes to faith, God is the one giving us faith. And he is the one who sanctifies us. Um, so you still want to know I'm telling the truth. You're going to take another Bible word at it. So I have found one in Ezekiel. Chapter 36. And I would say I would want you to read uh, verse 25 to 27. But I just read verse 27. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes, and you will keep my judgments and do them. So, actually, I think we read the entire one. So, I read from uh, Ezekiel chapter 36, verses 25 until. Verse 27. Then I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you shall be clean. I will cleanse you from all your filthiness and from all your idols. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statues, and you will keep my judgments and do them. And of course, also here in verse 5 to 6, uh, Paul speaks about how he himself got called. And if you want to read more about Paul's call, like how we got called and what happened, you should go to Acts chapter 9 and you can read what happened to the way to Damascus. And that was all for now.
see you some other time. And we will continue with verse Romans uh, 7 and onward. <laughs> Bye for now. God bless you. Bye.